What's going on everybody? Today we are talking the ultimate backpacking kitchen setup, a beginner's guide to backpacking, cooking, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's get into this week's Monday in Review. Welcome everybody to Mondays in Review. I'm Wes with Dad Does Adventure, and when we're not hiking some mountain or swimming in some alpine lake, or taking my three kids on an awesome adventure, we're bringing you a review about camping, backpacking, overland, and camera gear every Monday. And we appreciate it if you join us along. So without further ado, let's jump into this Monday's In Review. This week, we are talking about one of the most frequently asked questions that I get. How do you cook in the backcountry and what can I bring and what should I bring? So there's no real way to answer that with one solution. So we're gonna break this up into three. The first one is an ultralight or weight conscious setup to get into the backcountry in a fashion that doesn't take a whole lot of luxuries. The second is what I would call my preferential setup or a group cooking setup. And lastly, I wanted to throw in there some absolute musts that have been really helpful to us that we think would be a good idea if you wanna go in the back country and cook and do it comfortably. So let's get into the ultralight setup. Well, the ultralight setup is exactly what it sounds like. You're getting into the back country with necessities, but no luxuries that would add additional weight. And it starts off with my BRS burner and a half used fuel canister coming in at 4.7 ounces. I always carry an additional canister, but if you really want to measure it out and control those weight variables, you can measure out exactly how much you need. With that, we would also have our tokes cup and lid at 3.6 ounces and I would almost exclusively use this for boiling water which I would pour into dehydrated meal bags uh, or break up top ramen or mac and cheese noodles and cook them in the tokes cup with water and eat it out of the cup rinse and repeat essentially everything gets boiled down into it those titanium spoon and fork long handle come in at 1.3 ounces and an additional fuel is about a little under half a pound. The last thing I put in this weight conscious or ultralight setup is a hydro pack exclusively for water for cooking. I don't mix my drinking water and my cooking water and I know that's a little bit of a luxury but the hydro pack is a few ounces and I feel it's totally worth the weight especially since it's collapsible and you can hang it from the back of a pack. So what do I take in the back country that becomes a little more luxury or making group cooking a little easier and that's two things. Uh, it's a sea to summit collapsible pan and a sea to summit uh, collapsible pot. The collapsible pot has a metal bottom that allows uh, it to have direct flame and then it has collapsible poly sides that can't take direct flame but absolutely can take the heat of boiling water. And that comes in at 8.8 .8 ounces, which I use tremendously for noodles or other things that I wanna cook, especially in a group setting when I have three or four servings of noodles, top of ramen, spaghetti, things like that. And then my pan, I can cook meats and sauces. And usually if I'm bringing this set up, I have an additional BRS burner and fuel canister so I can do two things at once and successfully cook for three or four people in my group. Not everyone's gonna take those things, but I will say the Sea to Summit pot with a lid is an absolute game changer for the 8.8 .8 ounces that you're sacrificing. But again, that is if you're being a little less weight conscious. So lastly, let's get into the absolute musts and the tips. So now we're gonna get into the portion of the video of tips and absolute musts that we bring into the backcountry. And the first is coffee. Most backpackers, hikers, humans I know drink coffee and it would stink to get in the backcountry and miss your cup of coffee. So GSI, pour over ultralight foldable setup is my favorite setup. You can put your coffee grounds in a bag, fold the pour over over a cup, and pour the boiling water right over the top and enjoy. I couple that with a GSI cup that's insulated because I don't like mixing my coffee with whatever food, water, salty thing I have going on in my other cup, and it is only a few ounces. Um, I also always bring extra matches or a Bic lighter, even if my burner has an igniter. I have my bear proof containers, which we've done a whole video on, and I'll put a link in below. And lastly, Sea to Summit comes in again with an amazing product with their collapsible plates and bowls. Now, 
These are a luxury item. They are light. They do help with cleanup and containment. But again, if you wanted to keep things really simple, you could always eat and cook out of your cup. Uh, but for me, that little tidbit makes backpacking a lot cleaner and a lot easier for cleanup. And I think they hit it out of the park again with this product. So that's it. I hope you've gotten something out of this. Please put in the comments if you have any questions or concerns or things that just don't make sense to you or another video idea, which is how we got the video idea for this particular one. So with that, I hope you have an awesome Monday and thanks for coming along on this week's Monday in Review.